Okay, well, it's a Sunday. Yesterday I had a very productive day. I got the motor coach all winterized. I got the pool winterized and the steps out. I got the uh, chimney cleaned. Roof tarred. And today, I moved my door. And yes, I got in trouble for not uh, making a video. Anyway, um, yeah, I used all the, I took the window from there, put it over here, because what happened was, is the old barn, shifts and moves and weaves and wobbles. You can see this crack in there. Ah, uh, don't look at the mess. Uh, the floor heaved a bit, which made it almost impossible for the door. It was hitting the ceiling and it was hitting the concrete and it was a real pain in the ass. So I took the window from there, moved it over here. When I originally built this section of the barn, um, the door was here, the add-on. The door was originally there, so it didn't take a whole lot. I didn't have to buy anything. I just, uh, these were little slat pieces from uh, a deck project, and I just used whatever I had, and I uh, rough framed in. I still have a bunch of insulation and junk and mouse houses in it. Uh, I'll just tack it back up and Put my plastic back up. Eventually I will uh, sheet it. Um, but yeah, I moved the door so I would no longer have problems with it rubbing or touching or anything else. So yeah, I gotta tidy up my electrical. It's a little, uh, little, little on the uh, iffy side there, but that's not a, not an issue. It'll be nice now because also my plugs, my light switches, were always on the other side of the door. So I'd have to come right in, close the door, and turn the lights on. At least now I'll be able to move the box over closer to the uh, door area. So when I just come in, flip the switch, the switch it does over here. Um, yeah, it's almost cold enough to get a fire going, but... Uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm going to be calling it a day shortly. I'm going to drain the water out of the race car. They don't want any goofy, stupid things to happen, like sub-zero temperatures hit me and crack the block or anything dumb like that. We don't need that. Um, yeah, so a little uh, fun in the barn. As you can see here, I have to put my insulation back up re-vapor barrier it because some uh, silly raccoon decided he was going to do a dance on top of the... <laughs> yeah, I got to get it sheeted. Uh, I got a piece there and I got I got that beautiful piece of plywood left over from my uh, basement floor job. I don't know if I want to nail it up there, but I just may put it up there temporarily so this doesn't happen again. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I got to finish that up so uh, I can start working. Um, <coughs> Alex's truck is outside. Race car motor's coming out. I do believe I'm going to stroke it this year. I'm going to pull it all apart just to check the bottom end bearings. I might as well add another, uh, I don't know, 48, 50 some odd cubic inches get a little more pep out of it um so i'll make videos of that so motor's coming out it'll be over there on the stand i'm gonna plastic things off so it will be semi neat and tidy jim's race car is coming back in for the hopefully the last time and i'm gonna get all those parts done this winter and like I said, Alex's truck is coming in and I got to weld in new rocker panels and floor, which he purchased all the metal over there. 
So I just got to get things tidied back up and uh, get ready to work this winter in my spare time. <laughs> anyway, that's how how does it. Just slammed in that door. It's a barn. Things move, things shake. So nothing's uh, super duper. Uh, it's not house quality by any means. Um, I actually enjoy doing a little barn, barn framing because it's, it, it doesn't take much skill or thought. <laughs> anyway, that's how how does it. We'll talk at you later.